Hey everyone, Kibby King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install Signage Mod 7.2, official Signage Mod 7.2 on your Samsung Epic 4G. So it's now official, um, it is uh, MTD. So if you don't know the difference between MTD and BML, please watch the video I'll post in the description of the video to give you an idea of it. Um, if you are on an MTD ROM, you cannot just flash a BML ROM, a TouchWiz ROM, because it will not work. But anyways, you will need to make sure you have a root and have clockwork mod. Uh, click on the link in the description of the video. Huge, huge thanks to Uber Penguin. Also, thanks to, I'm going to scroll down, more guys. Decadence, JT1134, Uber Penguin, Noob Coder, MKA6, Null Ghost, Damon78, Wispo, yeah, and D Rockstar. Huge thanks to all of them and anyone else that contributed to this. A lot of people worked very hard on this to get this for us, so be sure to thank them. Um, anyways, as you can see, Epic MTD CM 7.2.0 RCO. It is official. So now, uh, scroll down, scroll down, keep scrolling down, and you'll get the download links right here. So you got two download links. Click on both of them. You're going to need both. The Google Apps will download it automatically once you click on it. The other one's the mirror links. They'll take you to this website. And you got all these. The, just click on any of the top three mirrors to download it. Any of these three mirrors will work just fine. So download that and the Google Apps as well. So it'll look like this. There's the ROM. There is the G Apps, the Google Apps. So you need both of those. Make sure you have both. And once you have both downloaded, you're ready to go, ready to install. So you can go actually just go ahead and power off your Epic 4G. I'm actually rooting have Clockwork Mod on stock Froyo. So, um, but this will put you on the YAFFS2 file system, and it should be overall the best Cyanide Mod experience you've had on this phone. Um, anyways, once it powers off, you're going to need to go into Clockwork Mod. To do so, press and hold the volume down, camera button, and power button at the same time. Keep it held down. Get into your custom recovery. I believe I have ACS recovery. Yes, I do. So as you can see, ACS recovery 5 right there. Now, to install, if you are already on an MTD version of CM7, then you can just wipe your cache and Dalvik cache and flash. You don't have to wipe your data, oh, excuse me. Anyways, um, for everyone, I'm gonna recommend going to Backups and Restore and hitting Backup, making an Android Backup. So that's something I recommend for everyone. If you aren't on uh, CM7, then you're gonna need to wipe data, cache, and Dalvik cache. So go to Install Zip from SD Card, Pre-ROM Install Wipe. If you're already on MTD CM7, just do Pre-Theme Install Wipe. So pre-ROM install wipe, yes, wipe. So it's gonna wipe your data, cache, Dalvik cache. And once all three of those are wiped, you're ready to go. Go ahead and choose it from, your, for, from the SD card. Then find that update CM 7.2.0. And hit yes, install. So it's gonna go ahead and run through the install package, install CM7 on my Samsung Epic 4G. and it will convert for me to MTD at BML, so keep that in mind. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and run through, and once done, I will be back. All right, so I booted my phone automatically. As you can see, Galaxy S, signage and mod, awesome. This is the boot animation. Be patient with the first boot up. Should It'll take actually a while to boot up, so definitely be patient with it. Um, I'm gonna be doing a separate review video of it, so definitely something you're gonna wanna check out. So be sure to watch that, uh, as you can see, signage mod, boot animation. But that's about it, be sure to subscribe to me for future videos, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, all links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thank you for watching, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and watch the review video.